Hello, and welcome to the fast LED blinky controller with the Uno Pro Logic from Earth People Technology. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create an ultra fast LED blinky controller using a CPLD and a Windows PC. The code for the CPLD is written in Verilog, and the Windows PC code is written in C sharp. I'll bring up the C sharp controller. You'll notice that the controller has five LED functions timer slider, and an LED control group. Right now I've selected the shift left function at a time value of about 42,000. The current state of the LEDs is transmitted from the Uno Pro Logic to the C-sharp and is displayed on the LED controls. Now anytime the slider value changes, the new time is immediately transmitted to the Uno Pro Logic and changes its delay time during its loop function. So now I'll adjust the slider and we can see the shift left function getting a little bit faster. Uh, the LEDs are controlled by a state machine inside the CPLD. The Windows C Sharp code sends commands such as change the time delay value to the CPLD and the state machine implements these commands. So I will increase this to about a maximum value of, a, of 1000. Then adjust the speed back down to 42,000. Next, uh, I'll stop the, the LED function by clicking the reset button. And to turn on any one of the LEDs, just click on its icon in the LED controls group. And here I selected uh, 4 and 3. I'll choose the shift right function by clicking on its button. And the LED is shift right. Now I can select the count up function by clicking on its button. And we see the LEDs counting 1 all the way up to 16. Rolls over and starts the up count over again. So now I'm going to show you just how fast the CPLD can update the LEDs. I'll add a few lines of code to sample the LED control register and send it to some test points. I'll use an oscilloscope to measure the timing of the LEDs. For the Verilog modifications, I add four assignments to the fast LED blinky project. The LBIOL output bits 0 to 3 are used to connect the test pins. The LED reg signal controls the on and off time of each LED. When one of the bits is high, then the corresponding test pin is low. And if the LED reg signal is low, then the corresponding test pin is high. The LBIOL outputs are connected on the board to connector J8 pins 1 to 4. I use a four channel oscilloscope with each channel connected to one of the LED test pins on J8. So the oscilloscope connected to the test pins and the LED controller commanding a slow shift, the timing looks like this. So I've set the time base at 500 milliseconds. You can see that when the LED is on, the corresponding LED red signal is low, and the LED is on for about 250 milliseconds, and off for about 750 milliseconds. So now I'll increase the speed of the LED controller you can see the LED on and off time decrease due to the increasing frequency. So I'll increase the speed again. And now the time is about the on time is about 50 milliseconds here. So I'll change the time base so we can see this a little better. Here the time base is now 200 milliseconds. So I'll increase the speed even more. Change the time base to 100 milliseconds. Okay, now I've got the LED on time here for about 5 milliseconds and the off time for around 10 milliseconds. So at this point I've reached the max speed of the LED controller. Here I'm going to stop the video and make a code change so I can make a, an even faster LED timer and I have to hard code this time in. So I've changed the timer so it adds a delay of hex 7F. The CPLD oscillator is at 66 megahertz. That translates into a delay frequency of about 520 kilohertz. Now notice that the cursors on the oscilloscope are measuring the complete on and off cycle for the LEDs. And here you can see that the frequency is about 818 kilohertz. So that's pretty fast, but the CPLD can go even faster. So here again, I'll stop the video and make a 
a change to the uh, delay and I'll have to hard code it in there. So here the count is at hex 2f. That translates into a delay count of 1.4 megahertz. Then now you can see on the screen that the total LED on off cycle is 2.06 megahertz. And here the CPLD can go even faster. But you get the picture. So I'm going to leave it up to you to figure out if your microcontroller can match this speed. So we have shown here that the CPLD is capable of extremely fast speeds. This is one of the many advantages that programmable logic has over microcontrollers. You can design your state machines to run at the maximum clock speed and your inputs and outputs can also pass that data in and out of the CPLD. Okay, next we will go through all the code and explain the data flow and how to write the code and how to program CPLD. So stay tuned, that's uh, coming up next.